I know that it's a tough, strong position that I'm coming out on, but I think that we've moved away from the toxic hustle culture and now moved into the polar opposite of, ah, oh, this journey, it's really hard, so you know, oh, you'll know, you figure it out later, and no, oh, you don't need to do this, or, oh, it's hard enough, you don't need to think about this stuff. And it's like, golly, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're not setting up founders for success. We're setting them up for convenience. And it's incredibly disappointing. My basic position is, at the pre-seed stage, you should have some form of basic financial understanding of what's going on in your business and be able to project out into the future, create goals for yourself, create key performance indicators, those KPIs that, you know, an investor is going to judge you from this investment round to the next, to the next, and not just for the investor, but it's also because these same things can be used for your internal team. When you hire those software engineers, when you hire those salespeople, they see what your startup needs to achieve. These are goals that you're laying out for your organization. And by just saying, ah, screw it, we're just gonna chase product market fit and judge that we've hit product market fit off of, I guess people like it and I guess, uh, you know, we're making a lot of money or I guess some investors whom, you know, vary in quality agree that we're doing a good job. What are we doing as an industry when we allow for these things to happen? Elite startups is not guesswork. It's educated, informed, creating projections, right? It's not just wander around in the dark, feeling around and hoping that you rest upon something. No, it's we want to achieve this. We're going to go out and do it. Okay, turns out, hey, we got to move to something else. Okay, let's reorganize, create new goals based off of this thing, and move from thing to thing to thing. And guess what? If you're pivoting, and it's always a new thing day after day, and oh, by the way, it's exhausting to change our financial model because it's daily change, or it's weekly change, or it's even monthly change, and you can't spend the 30 minutes to an hour to create a new financial model based off of what you're working on, I don't know what to say to you anymore. So that's my kind of tough comments there on the situation. Those are my opinions. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Put them in the comments down below.